hello and welcome you all today's session is for the derivation of spherical capacitor as the name indicates the nature of capacitor is spherical we are considering two spheres inner sphere is having radius a outer sphere is having radius b the gap between two spheres if we fill it with some medium some material whose permittivity is epsilon then the structure acts as a capacitor and because of its nature or construction it is known as spherical capacitor now you need to remember one formula that is derived according to coulomb's law that is equation of e bar in case of a sphere or in case of a point charge is q by 4 pi epsilon r square a r bar the derivation starts with this equation this is Uh, generated using the coulomb's law e bar is electric field intensity now we are supposed to make use of these two equations basic formula of capacitance is q by v and equation of voltage is minus integration e bar dot dl bar now i will make use of equation of voltage that is v is minus integration e bar dot dl bar we have the equation of e bar the direction of e bar is ar bar again you don't have to uh, think about the coordinate system and uh, memorize the lengthy equations make the thing simple if you want to write uh, equation of dl bar how to think this direction of e bar is ar bar so dl bar must be along ar bar so make it simple dl bar is dr ar bar how to remember it very simple it is the direction is ar bar how you concluded because it should be in the same direction of e bar since you are taking the dot product direction of e bar is ar bar so direction of dl bar must be ar bar r is the radius related to radius the component is dr so equation is dl bar is dr ar bar now put the values so it becomes minus integration q by 4 pi epsilon r square dr ar bar dot ar bar whenever you are taking a dot product of any vectors make the thing simple take the normal multiplication of all the things except directions and then take dot product of directions only so dot product of similar unity vector is 1 that means ar dot ar bar dot ar bar is equals to 1 so i am cancelling this term take the constants outside this integration so it is q by 4 pi epsilon integration 1 by r square dr now important part what should be the limits of integration do remember limits of integration will be from larger sphere to the inner sphere outer sphere to the inner sphere larger value to the smaller value so it is b to a always so from larger value to the smaller value so it is b to a 1 by r square dr now integration this this term remains as it is integration of 1 by r square is minus 1 upon r limits are b to a now make the thing simple we have minus sign two times so it becomes plus put upper limit then put lower limit so this equation simply can be written as v is equals to q by 4 pi epsilon if i will put upper limit it becomes 1 by a minus lower limit 1 by b this is the equation of voltage last step we need to derive the expression of capacitance so c is equals to q upon v so simply it is q upon this entire equation that is q by 4 pi epsilon in the bracket 1 by a minus 1 by b next if this q term gets cancelled so simply value of capacitance can be written as 4 pi epsilon upon 1 by a minus 1 by b this is the equation of capacitance for the spherical capacitor now there is one more term related to this b is the radius of outer sphere if outer sphere is at infinity for example you are keeping some sphere on the surface of earth then if outer sphere is at infinity then b is equals to infinity and do remember the mathematical identity if you are getting 1 by infinity the answer is always zero so 
if b is infinity this term that is 1 by b gets cancelled it becomes zero so I'll, if i will neglect this term so it is 4 pi epsilon upon 1 by a that means this equation can be written as 4 pi epsilon a this is the equation of capacitance for spherical capacitor provided that the outer sphere's radius is infinity this is known as isolated spherical capacitor so dear students this is again a simple derivation you need to just remember this basic formula from where the derivation starts so that's it for today's session if you like this video don't forget to smash the like button thank you very much